Camp Cretaceous in Jurassic World Evolution 2. It is officially happening. On March 8th, the Scorpius Rex will roam your parks along with lots of other fan favorite Camp Cretaceous dinosaur characters. Let's watch the trailer and then discuss everything the DLC will include because there is more coming than what they show in this clip. Hello everyone, welcome to the video, thanks for checking it out. It is going to be all about the Camp Cretaceous Dinosaur Pack for Jurassic World Evolution 2. In the trailer we see Bumpy, the Uranosaurus, a glimpse of Pierce, the Monolophosaurus and the Scorpius Rex. Plenty to get excited about, but there will be even more. Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous has been a mega success in the community since its first season, and it's not difficult to see why. The dinosaurs get a lot of screen time in the series, and that's my personal favorite part of the show. And just like Rexy and Blue from the film franchise, the series has introduced some true dinosaur characters. On March 8th, alongside the paid DLC, Frontier will also release a free update that I'm actually even more excited about, if you if you can't believe it. I will have a video out on that as well, just so there's no confusion about what's paid content and what will be free, I am doing it in separate videos. In this one, I'm just going to talk about everything that will be included in this DLC. Not all information is known quite yet, but I did receive some exclusive info from Frontier yesterday, and we can speculate a little bit. First off, the Scorpius Rex, the mismade predecessor of the movie hybrids. A lot of Jurassic fans really like the Scorpius Rex from season 3, so I know a lot of you will be very hyped to get this creature in the game. For me, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of hybrids in general, and especially not of the Scorpius. I'm actually more excited about the other real dinosaurs in this pack, like Bumpy! <laughs> Through the information I received from Frontier, Bumpy is going to be one of eight new skins added to the game. Obviously, she's not a new species, but she's also not even described as a new model, even though she's very clearly the distinctive bumpy model with her asymmetrical horns. It's not just a color swap on top of the, the known Ankylosaurus model. Bumpy is the goat, she's a badass, so I'm happy to have her in the parks, but even just having a more brightly colored Ankylosaurus is cool in and of itself. She's featured fairly dominantly in the trailer, but I also have this really lovely screenshot of her, and seriously, I just love how she looks. Before we talk about the other seven Camp Cretaceous skins, which were not featured at all in the trailer, I want to first address the other dinosaurs that are shown in the trailer. We're also getting the Monolophosaurus, which were part of what I think was one of the best scenes in the whole series, and I really love seeing this dinosaur make an official appearance in the franchise. Superficially, they have a lot in common with the Proceratosaurus, but design-wise they are definitely different enough to make it worth it having both. The Monolophosaurus is one of only two new species in this dinosaur pack, along with the Scorpius, of course. And that's quite interesting. The absence of the Spinosaurus slash Cynoceratops hybrid from season four is interesting. <laughs> I don't personally mourn it, like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of the hybrids, and I guess the fact that the show only shows these hybrids in their juvenile form, and so the fact that there's not an adult model for this species is the reason it is not included in this DLC to be brought into the game. Then we have two model variants. It's it's like we're in the MCU, we're dealing with variants. The first one is the Uranosaurus, also from season three, just like the Monolophosaurus. I am a Big, big fan of this alternate model. I prefer it to the design that is in the game currently, so I'm very happy to have it for my park soon. And when I compare the one in the trailer to the one in this screenshot, I think the one in the trailer has a duller skin tone, and I think it's very likely that these new variants 
come with some skin customization as well. The other variant is for the Kentrosaurus. This one is modeled after Pierce, who we saw in season four, the poor bugger. <laughs> it's a really great looking model, just like the Uranosaurus. So even though for both, it goes without saying that I'm not as excited about these variants as I would be about an entirely new species. I do genuinely like them. And again, I might even like this model better than the base model that is in the game currently. Now onto the new skins that were not in the trailer. For some I have screenshots, about others I can only speculate, and I will. So in the information I received from Frontier, they write, eight eye-catching skins that you can use to bring your park to life. And they elaborate a little later on, eight brand new skins based off the dinosaurs in Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, including a Bumpy the Ankylosaurus skin. Now, I don't know how they determined what should be a variant and what should be a skin, because like I said, the Bumpy skin also includes a remodel of the dinosaur. It's not just the color that has changed. Uh, and that opens up possibilities for these these eight skins that are being included. My favorite skin to get added is the bioluminescent Paraceralphus from the first season of Camp Cretaceous. It is absolutely magical and I look forward to building a beautiful exhibit for a herd of these. You can definitely expect an exhibit build video on that after March 8. Three of the other skins coming in are for the Baryonyx trio, so that's Grim, rest in peace, Chaos and Limbo. Now the only Baryonyx reskin that will really get my heart pumping is the skin that was featured on the Jurassic World website, but still you can never have too many skins, I suppose. That's very strange. That's very weird. Let's 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 not talk about that. And I'm sure fans will be happy to have this trio in the park and just let them live a long and happy life. Now, I don't have any pictures of the three remaining skins. We don't even know what these skins are going to be. Perhaps they will release screenshots between now, which is actually yesterday, if you're watching today. I'm not, I'm not making any sense, but maybe they'll release screenshots between now and March 8th. Or perhaps they will keep them a mystery, I don't know, but until we know more, it is fun to speculate about what those other skins are going to be. I think two of the final three slots are likely going to be Big Edie and Little Edie from season four. They have a fairly prominent role in that season. Their skins are relatively distinguishable from others, I guess. And more importantly, they are named, which makes them likely candidates, I think. It elevates them from just a featured dinosaur to a quote-unquote character. As for the number eight, I feel like Toro in his ultimate crispy form is a shoe in Again, it is a named character and by virtue of painful misfortune, it is a very unique skin. If you have any other theories about what might be included, please leave a comment down below. Now, there is something I have to say. I have to address this. It is a shame that the Camp Cretaceous DLC is just a dinosaur pack because there is more awesome stuff in Camp Cretaceous than dinosaurs alone, especially for a park builder game. Now, I don't want to see any brads in my park, but the treehouse as a new form of hotel and the zipline as a new attraction would have been so cool. And I think not doing anything with that is a missed opportunity. And I'm not holding out hope that we will have more than one Camp Cretaceous DLC. So I am sort of mourning the loss of that. That is it for the coverage on the Camp Cretaceous DLC. This is a paid DLC. The price is still unknown at the moment of recording. It launches on March 8, along with a fantastic free update which I will talk about in another video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and consider subscribing. The channel is on its way to 100,000 subscribers. And just like with the previous milestone, I have something crazy planned that I think you'll like. If you want to help make 100K happen, that will be awesome. For now, thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and until next time, enjoy the game. <laughs>